Parents and lawmakers agree the Hoosier state is behind when it comes to keeping foster children safe. Now, 12 new bills are being worked on to raise standards. News 10's Heather Good has more on how the proposals could impact Hoosier children. Local foster mom and advocate Christy Cundiff tells me change is needed and these 12 be bills could be the change and have a significant impact on how the state handles foster kids. Foster mom Christy Cundiff is hard at work inside this Wabash Valley clothing closet preparing for what foster families will need this season. She's also been meeting with Indiana lawmakers to ensure parents like her have the access and tools they need to protect Hoosier kids. They want to know what the solution is. What can we do? What do we have to pass? to solve this problem to keep children safe in Indiana. 12 new bills are being worked on right now to get ready for next session. Cundiff and other foster parents met with State Senator Jim Merritt in Indianapolis. The group is pushing for what's called first right of choice legislation. It would give foster families the opportunity to take a child back if they re-enter the system. State Senator Merritt took to Facebook to explain. If you are a foster parent of a child, a baby, and the birth mother becomes eligible, if you will, or ready to take the child back. Uh, and some, for some reason, there's a failure there. The original foster parent does not get the child back. They just have to get back in line. And we have to change that. Foster parents are also backing a bill that would give them say at a child's court appearance. It would allow them to fill out a foster parent court report. The document would be included in a child's record and presented to the judge. It's an accountability piece, but it's also a voice for foster parents that they've never had in court. Cundiff says right now judges and prosecutors primarily get information through the Department of Child Services. They only know what's being reported to them. And you have a child who spends 80% of their life with a foster parent day by day by day, but we're not hearing from who they're spending all of their time with. Cundiff says she's optimistic real change could happen this year with bipartisan support at the State House. Now, the Foster Parent Bill of Rights is almost complete. A law was passed last session requiring its creation. Back to you.